Well, we're at Andy's Place Apartments, a project that we're real proud of in this community. And to get in here, you have to uh, go, be in trouble and go to the drug court. Uh, the drug court usually sends someone to rehab, and after rehab, then they're allowed to live here. So we have a nice, safe, clean environment for everybody to continue on with their recovery. Uh, you know, most time rehab is going to be 30, 60, 90 days, but uh, after that, you can stay here for as long as you want after that if you feel that this is what you need to to keep you safe, to keep you sober, and to keep you moving up in life. Well, you know, this is the first, really, of its kind project in the entire country to utilize the drug court, the low-income housing, and the private sector, and put them all together to make something special here. And a lot of the amenities that we have here, first of all, we have a fitness room that they can work out every day in with some wonderful equipment donated by Henry Ford. Uh, you know, we have a community room that's not just a community room for meetings, but there's a full kitchen in there. They can have birthday parties, baby showers, graduation parties, whatever you want. We have a, a beautiful outdoor area with a patio with a gas grill and, and lots of patio furniture. Um, those, are, those are just a few of the things that, that are fun to do, but uh, some of the more important things are, you know, we have eight offices in this facility. Uh, they are free satellite offices for recovery groups. Uh, several of them are already occupied at this time. So now that uh, the, uh, the person that, that's battling substance abuse, their recovery coach is right here on site. They can have their meeting here with them, their one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, you know, those are all things that are very important in the family building that uh, we're in right now. Um, mothers, when they, you know, have done everything the court wanted them to do, uh, but they still can't get their kids back because they don't have a decent place for them to stay. Well, now they can finish their recovery with their kids in this facility. Now, every day I drive by here on my way to my office, you know, it's, it's a, a, a source of pride for sure. And, and it really, you know, it's really going to help a lot of people. This is something totally different that nobody's done before. Um, certainly, yes, you can afford, if you can afford long-term care a year and a half or two years, if you're one of the one percenters out there that can afford something like that, that's fine. But what about the rest of the people? What about you know, people that, uh, you know, live in the middle class America that work really hard or, or actually, you know, struggling in poverty, they have no, ch no chance. But to here they will have a chance. Anybody can come in here. You know, you're in trouble. You're at the drug court. Uh, you pass an interview test. You're really serious about getting better. And we'd love to have you out here. And uh, we'd love to see you move up in life. And, and that's what we're really all about here. And I'm sure that, you know, you know it, it makes me really... Uh, my family and myself, you know, we're really proud of Andy. We always were proud of him, and uh, now we're even more proud of him.